So. So. Um, we are about to watch Doctor Who. Yeah. Um, and it's coming on in a minute. It's starting. Dalek, <gasps> Dalek. There's a Dalek. Who are they? His eyes are good. His eyes are like. <laughs> I hope one of the dark. Is that what you think? Yeah. Jack! How has he got in there? Can't he just do himself out? He's coming he's come to break her out. Why would he do that? <gasps> he sounds as like Boy, has he turned into one? Yeah. Off his back it won't control him. It squeak. <laughs> Because they're made by humans. It's alright. Okay, you hide under the covers. I'm a Dalek. Oh no! <laughs> Did he kill himself? Did he kill himself? Well. Why? Why are they red? But sometimes that alien back thing could have got the doctor. Could have done. Wait, how is that the end? Because it is. <clears throat> the story has finished. That was quite good, wasn't it? Yeah! Yeah! Hello, I'm Phil. Welcome to my channel. I'm joined by Paige, who has just watched in the episode of Doctor Who with me. It was called Revolution of the... Do no... <laughs> Revolution was called Revolution of the Daleks, <laughs> and uh, Paige watched it. What Paige? So we're going to do this as a joint review. I'm going to talk about it a bit. But what did you think of it? Um, good. Good. What was? Did you find it scary? <laughs> yeah. There were a few bits you were hiding, weren't they? Because it was so scary. Well, what was your? What was the scariest bit? When that the man turned into a. When the man turned into the... What, when he got the thing on his back? Yeah. The Dalek on his back? Was that scary? <laughs> that was scary. That was, I think, your most overriding uh, emotion throughout it was scared, wasn't it? Yeah. I thought it was overall a very, very good episode. I very much enjoyed it. It... There was... I, there was some... I've got a pen all over my hand. Uh, never mind. I, I, there were some things I liked, some things I didn't. Um, but the, the things I didn't like were very small things, just kind of things I wished they'd done instead of what they did do. But, um, but Stop. overall, <laughs> sorry, but overall, I very much enjoyed it. It was a very Star Wars. I was just doing that because I needed to tell you something. Okay, what do you need to tell me? Um, um, the, they made it fake Daleks. And the real Daleks, it got rid of the fake Daleks. They did. You were paying attention. Well done. That is what happened. So, um, yeah. Uh, sorry, I thought you better say something else. <laughs> okay, so what did I like about it? I liked the opening. The opening was good. We got to see back to uh, Resolution uh, immediately after the events of Resolution. A bit of a recap, a bit of a flashback to what happened there. And then um, sort of what happened next, including the Dalek casing being stolen by... Jack uh, Robertson's company um, and I like the kind of opening style of it, the st it kind of made me think of Star Wars that kind of a long time ago but then cut straight in with the comedy 2019 because 2019 does feel like a very long time ago now even though it was only a year ago um, but yeah felt feels like a lot longer ago I need to tell when I do that I, that means I need to tell them okay what do you need to tell them um they went into a darky thing where the lefty thing happened and happened and happened. Yeah, and did you like that? Um, yeah, I like that bit. Cool. We get the return of Jack Robertson, who, uh, obviously from the Arachnids in the UK episode, he was very underserved in that episode. I think he did an admirable job in that episode, but it wasn't the greatest episode in the world. So... This episode, I think, gives him much better stuff to work with. Um, and we get to see both his self-serving and duplicitous, 
I can't say that word, duplicitous nature. Can you remember the, the businessman guy, the guy that betrayed the doctor and yeah. tried to do a deal with the Daleks? Yeah, I definitely remember that. What do you think of him? Mm, a little scary. Is he scary? Yeah. Was he? Was he not a very nice person? Mm-hmm. No. But I thought the he did a really good job playing the character here. Uh, great acting from Chris Wait, Knopf again. Wait, who did he say? The businessman guy. You know, the guy with the slick back hair and mm, he was a rich... person origin- he talked to the Dalek? He, he talked to the Dalek, yeah. He was making a deal with them. He was trying to betray the Doctor. But what I did like was that the the mutant thing, it could have would have been a really easy route to go down to say that the mutants and cloning the mutants was all his idea to get some money. But actually, I like the fact that they twisted it and it was just the scientist going a bit rogue and deciding to do it and not... Then he was actually, oh my God, no... And he was just thinking PR disaster. He had very self-serving reasons for thinking that it was... Um, a bad idea in the sense that it would be a PR disaster but it, it fits with his character but it also wasn't the obvious way to go which I think was good we got to the Jack rescuing um, daddy yes and has has a yeah go grab him so he was in the episode he was that's cap that's my little i got this for christmas little uh figure of captain jack harkness he was in the episode he rescued the doctor it happened a lot earlier in the episode than i thought it was going to be i thought her breaking out of prison would focus be the main focus of the episode um, more one second um and and i just think that that kind of whole that kind of whole um uh cliffhanger that we were left on with the doctor in prison it kind of felt a little bit like it was wasted because they didn't do much with it we had a few nice cameos we had a silence we had a bating we had a sycorax we saw all those weeping angel and stuff but it just kind of felt like they went okay now we need to break her out and maybe they'll return to that plot line in season 13 i hope they series 13 i hope they do because otherwise it feels like another thing that was just there so that time could have passed between her seeing the fam Daddy, doesn't Doss have um, Jack? He has other ones. You might have seen it in his video of all the stuff he's got for Christmas. And I did one as well. Good plug. Watch my video. Watch my Christmas haul video. Good plug. Well done. And and I did one as well. Yeah, you you showed off some of your presents in it as well. (laughs) So you get to see her being cute at the end of the video as well. Go watch that one. So if there's one criticism I had, I think she returned back to Earth too early. I think it would have been nice seeing how the fam dealt with the Dalek situation without her. I thought the trailers indicated that's what we might get. And obviously they wanted to keep it secret how quickly she would be getting home. But I just feel like that would have been slightly more interesting if um, if she'd been like away for longer. And we saw more of them dealing with it. Uh, in terms of the companions this episode, there was... They did some nice stuff with Ryan, kind of building up how he felt about the Doctor being away for 10 months. um, And that he felt, and when he approaches her initially, I like the fact that he approaches her and asks her what happened and she initially tries to dismiss it. And he is clearly frustrated with that. And it's clearly a thing about her, you know, the fact that they didn't, uh, did that hurt? And the fact that they didn't, um, that that she, this is a thing she does that she doesn't give the uh, the information she doesn't tell you anything about herself to them that was clearly something that was still frustrating him um and it, i think it kind of plays into how he feels at the end of the episode and feels like he needs to leave and and go want to do something else got some nice stuff from yaz as well ryan uh, not ryan graham i think had some nice lines some nice moments but there wasn't really a massive arc for him in this episode necessarily there was some night there was a nice bit in the last scene but that was about it what happened with the daleks i thought was really good the fact that they're the impure daleks um were eliminated by the pure daleks that came along i like what they did about the doctor tricking them to come that worked really well i think the rest of it was predictable including i predicted the blue light is when they're being controlled by the by the UK red light is when they're Daleks, evil Daleks. So it was all a little, maybe a little bit predictable, Daddy? but I still liked it. Daddy, yes. Um, super dark outside. It is super dark outside because it's late, past your bedtime. <laughs> so pitting the Daleks against each other was good. I thought 
because I'm not a massive fan of this new design of Daleks. I like the fact that the bronze Daleks still exist. They eliminated this new Dalek. There was a reason for this new Dalek design to exist. It works well in the story. I'm glad it's not the new design of Daleks. I also like how the Doctor dealt with the pure Daleks by tricking them to go into the other TARDIS, thinking it was her TARDIS, um, and then effectively self-destructing that TARDIS. It both solves the immediate plot of the Daleks and also solves the the loose end of the random avatardis that is probably not a good idea to leave lying around uh so it solves both of those in one go really like that it's a nice little clever ending uh to the sort of threat as well what did you think of that did you like the tardis when it all crumpled up yeah 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 because it wasn't the doctor it wasn't it? the doctors was it she tricked them yeah. The only other negative I had about this episode, really, was some of the dialogue, particularly when the Doctor was uh, giving out exposition, felt a bit stilted. There was there was one moment, I can't ex even remember when it was, but she was giving this exposition about what the Daleks are, who they are, what they do, and the type of creatures they are. Possibly to Jack, maybe? I think to, not to Captain Jack. We haven't even talked about Captain Jack. To, to Jack Robinson. Um... And it just kind of felt a bit stilted. And I think that's a problem. Exposition has been a problem with Chris Chibnall's writing throughout his era. I think it's one of his weak points. Um, and it did resurface again here. Let's talk about Captain Jack. Because we, yeah, we had the little figure. Gonna get him again. Here we go. Captain Jack was back. Very exciting. Good to see John Barrowman in a uh, significant capacity in this episode. Being his usual cheeky self. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I liked, I, even though I thought it came way too early, I liked the way he showed up in the prison to break her out. <laughs> He's got his head back to front. Um, I'm disappointed that he didn't die because he gets resurrected, obviously. He comes back alive again. But I'm disappointed that didn't happen. He mentioned his immortality, but come on. Could have been shot by at least one Dalek. Um, but no, he was a lot of fun to have. It was good to see him again. We got a brief <laughs> reference to Gwen Cooper. I like the fact that nothing in the episode massively like referenced heavily to Torchwood continuity in terms of where Torchwood was at this point, but also it didn't contradict anything. So it didn't contradict any of the Big Finish stuff that's been going on with the continuation of Torchwood. I like that. What are you doing? What's Captain Jack doing to you? He's getting my nose. He's getting your nose. <laughs> and then I guess the only other thing to talk about was the ending, which, uh, you know, was billed as being the most, like, a really emotional ending. And I, and I know, I know at least the Who addicts were talking about possibly Ryan dying and the, how good that would be. And I know a lot of people didn't want anybody to die, so a lot of people will be pleased with this ending. Personally, I think it would have given us greater... It would have been bleak, sure, but greater story and emotional beats if if Ryan had died and Graham had to deal with that. That didn't happen, so fine. Uh, but I don't, I don't, I didn't find the ending like heart wrenchingly emotional. Personally, it didn't, it didn't tug on my heartstrings. But thematically, I mean, it worked with their character arcs. It worked with Ryan's character arc. I'm fine with the ending. It works, but it didn't didn't really grip on me. I like the fact as well fact as well that Graham was going to stay. He was going to continue to travel with the Doctor, but then decided that because Ryan wasn't going to, he wasn't going to, and he wanted to stay with his grandson. And then we get that lovely scene at the end with um which mirrors the very first scene from the from the era where Ryan is being taught to ride a bike. He's still failing. Um he's still not doing it. But that's okay because they're going to keep trying because they have <laughs> defeated monsters and something like a bike isn't going to stop him. What did you did you like the ending when there was? Wait, it how, are you asking questions like this? Yeah. A little cool. A little cool. You didn't. You think it's cool? Yeah. All right. Okay. So overall, I think uh, it was a good, solid episode. Yeah. I enjoyed it. You got scared lots. <laughs> so scared um you were hiding under the duvet and <laughs> uh, not the duvet the cover and stuff um but would you watch it again yes good was there anything you didn't like when the daleks attacked each other you didn't like it when the daleks were fighting each other on the bridge i didn't even mention that that was a good scene i liked that scene you didn't like it um, why was it scary or Scary. <laughs> Scary, okay. I thought that was a cool scene. Daleks firing each other. Very good. 
Um, thank you for watching this very erratic review. Uh, <laughs> never went with children. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And yes, Paige? Um, I'm going to do a video about this as well. Paige is going to do her own video about this. Apparently. Uh, so uh, I that's probably not going to be on my channel. Um, <laughs> we will see you again for another video soon. If you like this and want Paige in more reviews, let us know in the thing below. They're a bit erratic, but maybe we'll start watching. Uh, would you like to watch more Doctor Who? Yes. And do more videos? Yes, please. Okay, maybe we'll start from series one and do the Christopher Eccleston era and do reviews of those together. <laughs> Bye. Say bye. Bye. Good man. Good man. <laughs>